Greetings and welcome back everyone to XCOM 2 where I am moving one of our engineers over to our medical center so that Marp and I believe it was, let's have a quick check, Hammer will be healed much faster. This was 24 days, this was 14 days, it's a much more manageable number at this point because still Marp is our pretty much only medic. Not a very good place to be right now, i be honest with you. Right, okay, well we've got a number of events to do, we've just managed to uh, reduce the doom counter quite significantly to serve mankind recruits cost 10 supplies now we're good for that for now next up we've got enough intel to go ahead and make contact in western europe so that is the first thing that we're going to do let's get over there i would like to get rid uh, get that out of the way then we can go grab some supplies then we can build a relay in one of these, probably in this one, honestly, and that's, this one has a particularly Attention nice connection. Local regional contact. Fantastic, you do that. There we go. Wow, we came in at a bit of a steep angle there, my lord. Must be honest, that would probably have, have given me motion sickness. Okay, new income, 70 supplies. Right, what do you connect to that I might like? Um, I've already got one there. I don't think we've got one over there. So actually, this place would be one of the better ones for us to go Avenger, for. But let's go grab course. some supplies first. Now, that is open to us, so we can just go there at this point when we feel the need, which I am completely happy with. Uh, encrypted codex data is still on the way one day. Okay, we've now got Fortress for uh, Stuart Midnight Simmons. Let's have a look at what else we've got. Inspire, grant a bonus, immediate action to nearby squad mate. Solace, the Psy operative is surrounded by an aura that immediately extinguishes or blocks any mental impairments for themselves and nearby squad mates. Um, sure, let's grab that one. There we go. And now we've got Soul Steel. Let's continue the training. Fortress Void Rift. Uh, I think we probably want to go with this. That'll give us insanity there as well, which will be fantastic. We're actually getting really powerful with our Sion Troopers. I really do wish I'd had them earlier, because they have ridiculously OP in this version of the game. Okay, let's Control. see. Commander, excellent. My analysis of the fragmented codex data is almost complete. That's wonderful. The information I've uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the shadow chamber. As you okay. see, is that an elder? I haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration, rapid okay. muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. That is a shame. The elders have been aggressively searching for a cure to their condition for centuries. Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material Are the elders they not ethereal, then? moved on to the next world. Until now. Oh, that would actually make I sense. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the Avatar Directive. Avatar. We need those files. Yes, we do. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely. Okay. Provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. Well, that's nice of you to speak for the soldiers. I'm fairly certain they're going to have an issue with getting that close. But okay, use the Skulljack item on the Codex Alien in combat to gain access to restricted data from the Avatar project. 
uh, project. Use the Skulljack on the Codex. Now, the thing with... Making progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. Okay. The thing with the Ethereals from the first game, and, and, and in fact the original games prior to Frax's reboot of the franchise, is Ethereals always seemed to be the, the sort of the pinnacle of the aliens. In fact, the, the, the whole end plot was very different in the original games. But I guess the Elders in XCOM UFO uh, Unknown by Pharaxis, the Ethereals kind of spoke of the Ethereal ones, the ones that created them but found them lacking. Perhaps the Elders are them. In which case, Bradford saying that he hasn't seen one in over a decade surprises me because we never saw one. So Bradford has clearly seen something that we haven't. Now, in Crypto Codex, data, a codename Enigma. With time set aside to further analyze the data fragments left over in our initial Codex experiment, I finally managed to crack their code. And the resulting data is perhaps more valuable and shocking than I had expected. I understand now why the Codex was willing to sacrifice itself to protect this information. In the shadows, the alien overseers known to us as the Elders have continued to work in secret since the, the very beginning of Advent. Although Central Officer Bradford tells me that no one has seen an Elder in the flesh for over a decade, we continue to see monuments in their likeness throughout the city centres. This is because they never left. They simply fell into the shadows, focusing their efforts on more dire concern. The Elders are dying. Among the diverse and widely varied alien species we've encountered, the Elders are uniquely afflicted by some form of rapid muscular degeneration. Their physical forms are no longer capable of containing the psionic energy that is the Elder's lifeblood. Just as we've encountered these unique alien species in the field, at some point in the past, the Elders encountered them as well, and used them in an attempt to cure this plague amongst their own kind. Unfortunately for them, and for us, it seems they never found the cure. And now it appears that they're looking to use humanity as their next candidate. Okay. Well, that does explain quite a lot of things. Now, are there any other projects? No. Do we have any other research Hello, then? Yes, we do. Got an alien data cache. Uh, cache. Cache? Ah, oh, the E is silent. Uh, right. Okay. Go ahead. I assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. Because it's the only one I can do. As soon as the report is available. Thank you very much. Right, well, we've got a little bit more time. Let's let the time tick down. Okay, we've got all of the supplies that we wanted. Ignore 305. Now then, that does give us some options. Let's head over to engineering. In fact, let's head over here. There'll be Marb that's still out. He's out for another six days. That's a bit of a shame. But down here. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Let's have a look. If we go to build items, we can make pretty much anything we want at this mo at this time. Um, mimic beacon. Now the mimic beacons have actually changed. The mimic beacons have had a patch. They no longer gain cover bonus, and aliens pretty much get a, a one thousand percent bonus to shooting them. So even if they had cover bonus, it really wouldn't make any difference. They won't miss. I don't believe that Mimic Beacons now draw all enemy fire. I believe that Mimic Beacons now only give the aliens another option. A tempting option, but just another option. I could be wrong on that part, though, but I do know that aliens are now pretty much incapable of missing them. So it does change their use a bit, but at this point, we could have a look at these. And I like how it's saying squad upgrade now as well. That's actually pretty cool. Right, well, with our supplies, we could either go for... The plasma rifle. Or we could go for the nanoscale armor. Oh, sorry, the warden armor. Now, the warden armor would be nice. But we've got a lot of specialist armor at the moment. So I'm actually not as keen on getting that one right now as I am on getting the basic plasma rifle. I feel that is going to be a big upgrade for all of our troops. So, yeah, let's go for that. Used up pretty much all of our supplies in one go, unfortunately. I don't think you'll find anyone on board this ship who feels the least bit sorry to hear the elders are dying off. If anything, morale probably got a boost once word spread outside of the senior staff. Okay, that happened course, bloody fast. There's always a catch. They've always got a scheme. And I get the impression we're going to end up part of their cure whether we like it or not. Uh, 
It depends if we beat them, I suppose. Right. Okay, well, we have used up a lot of our supplies. We no longer simply have these supplies to drop them here. So, let's see. It would cost 105 supplies. That is a lot of bloody money. An awful lot of money. Don't like that one bit. Uh, let's see. We could go to... Is there anything around? There isn't actually anything around. We could drop into the black market, I suppose. Avenger and we might as well. New course. Hello, black market. I wish to have a chat. The market is open. Fantastic. Berserker Corpse, Viper Corpse, and Battle Scanner stores. Uh, sure, you can have that. You can have all of these as well. Uh, you cannot have my Battle Scanner, though. Anything else in here that I particularly want? Uh, you can have a couple of these. We'll take us down to four. Take us down to four there. Honestly, I don't actually think we need any of these anymore, so I'll take us down to two. There we are. Uh, the mech wreck. Yeah, we'll take this down there as well. That seems reasonable enough. Base of corpses, you're staying. Stun Lancer down to two as well. The Archon corpse down to two. Anything else we can get rid of? Not really. I mean, I could sell off the mech wreck. We all have already researched that. We've already researched the trooper. I don't think... Or have we done the, the shield bearer? We might have done the shield bearer as well. Well, that gives us a decent chunk of cash. All right, thank you very much for that. Now, we absolutely want to drop this down here because that is just going to give us so much more money later on. So let's get over there. Install the radio. Course for Sector 7, Western Europe. And then we can start expanding out to the other areas where we've got potential missions. We've got four more contacts that we can use, so... Signals coming through clear. Fantastic. All in. Bonus granted. Now then. Where do we want to go to next? I would say... We've practically connected these. I don't think I care too much about that particular bonus. This one... I would care about. But let's go grab this contact first. Oh, actually 80 intel because we don't have anything there. And we don't have that much intel either, so... At this point, let's go and just grab some intel then. We're going to get the data cache in a moment, so that's going to buff up our intel significantly at that point. There we go. Think I could have there we go. Extra 75 intel. Let's just check if we've got anything else. We do not. That's a shame, so. By the idea that despite the Codex's best efforts to resist our intrusion into the Advent Network, we somehow came away with a set of coordinates leading to an otherwise uninhabited region. The aliens certainly keep us on the move, one way or another. Indeed they do. Mob, how many days are left on you? Because I don't really want to go on a mission until you're at your best. Two days. All right, well, we've got enough intel now to connect really to anywhere we want to. Uh, we could, if it were our desire, drop another beacon down in Indonesia, make contact there. That might be worth our time. That would also mean that once we get get Oceania, uh, sorry, once we get Australia, we'll actually have the whole lot. So yeah, let's go and ow, oh, really, just a tiny bit away. That's frustrating. Uh, I mean, I could just afford to do it now, but. So go to the black market. See if we can sell some of our intel for supplies. We can usually get a good good deal on that actually. Market is open. Interesting a battle scanners. No. But let's buy supplies for 35 intel. Oh. 
very, very nice. Very, very nice, but no. Thank you. Do not need. Let's go and drop this down. Install the radio relay. Again, expensive to install now, my lord. But we're almost at the point where we have all of the continent bonuses, which is very nice to see. Right, we've got a new target. Damn it, just prior to us having um, Marb with us. So, we've got a very difficult one here. Advent ally padding gives them extra armor. We've got a difficult destroy the alien relay. Infestation places extra chrysalids on each mission. And Chile, very difficult. Uh, I mean, getting an engineer would be nice. But I think we kind of need to go here. Codex, Elite Lancer, Elite Shield Bearer, Elite Officer, Heavy Mech, and a Gatekeeper. If we ignore it, will this go badly for us? Time sensitive emissions. Commander, there is a time sensitive mission in New India on our radar. We can come back to finish this scan later, but passing up this opportunity. Ay, 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 ay. All right, then. I guess we're going to have to go here. That is quite frustrating because Marb is almost, almost healed. Uh, oh, well. We're going to have to take care of this one then. Without our main medic, which means we're going to need to bring along our standard. Our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Yeah, I know, I know, but but I worry basically. All right, let's edit everyone. You've got decent enough weapons. You've got a, a nice weapon. You've got a nice weapon. You've got a nice weapon. Okay, that's good. Um, Bryce, Sonia you're coming along. I think we're going to drop... Yeah, we're going to remove Rara Foxington. And we're going to bring along... Where are you? Shereen, Nichols, no, Shenwe. You're coming with us, Shen. You are also bringing along a medkit. go. I think that is pretty much as good as I can get for you. I could give you the, the war armor, but I'm not particularly interested in that. I mean, it might be worth it, but let's actually have a look at your ability, shall we? Right, you've got me this, so we can spec you directly into whatever we want. As for your weapon, superior auto loader. Superior scope gives you a pretty nice aim. A stock gives you plus one damage on everything. We may as well not go with that if we're going to go with any superior items at all. Three free reloads would be nice. But I think I'd prefer to keep that for someone else. Let's just pop the regular one on this one for him. There we are. Also, weapon pattern. Wow, this thing takes colors quite well, actually. Weapon color. Wow, it really takes colors well. I like it. I like it a lot. My lord. Okay, that's good enough for me. She lab. You don't need to be holding anything else, so let's go ahead. You've got a repeater on this. Let's give you an advanced scope. Either that or the stock. Miss shots do damage of one. Um no, I'll actually go with the stock on this since you've already got a repeater. That makes more sense to me. And I would like to give you the war... Uh, sorry, the exosuit. There you go. It's not the best thing that we've got, but it'll do. Gives you a little bit more punch. And it gives you a bit of armor as well. Is everyone else ready? I think you all are. 
Doc Avic has now got his gun as well. Just double check that it is all ready. No one needs to upgrade their weapons. You really want to come on a mission, don't you? I bet you do. Unfortunately, this is the group that we're going to go with, and hopefully it's going to be enough. We've got two specialists, so we've got two people who are capable of hacking. No one with a skulljack. I'm not that worried about that this time. I just want to get out there and complete this mission. Okay, begin mission. Signal triangulation is locked in the location of a hidden alien communications relay uploading data to the advent network right in this area. Disrupting the aliens' progress is our highest priority, so we're moving to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. Show me too hard with this squad. There aren't that many aliens here either. Honestly, I would have preferred to have gone for one of the more difficult missions at this point, because I don't think we're going to have any trouble with this. But the issue here is that I really don't want chrysalids just randomly on every mission. That would be terrifying. This is a map we've not been on before. Very well. Okay, so who's up first? Um, I could... Swing you up there, but I don't know what's there. So how about we don't just yet. Dark Avac, you could swing up there. Go ahead. Deploying grapple. What do you see? Nothing? And you could actually climb all the way over there, which is kind of glorious. You can grapple all the way over there, too, which is equally glorious. Hmm. Don't want to move all the way forward. Let's just move over there. Move into position. Nothing at all? Very well. Well, this means that Briarstone can go up there at the very least. I'll take the high road. Thank you. I was about to say, can you actually see the thing from here? You cannot, which is a shame, because that would be great if you could just snipe it from all the way over there. Alright, Miss Carson now. I'm afraid you're going to have to make a bit of a run. But it's fine. There's nothing over here for you to worry about. Shen. Got a civilian or two over there. So you know, three, in fact. You're all right there. Solid copy. Got eyes on a hostile squad. How on earth did you see them and no one else did? Hey, that's one third of our entire enemy number. See, that don't go through there. That would be dumb. That would be super dumb. Please don't. Can you actually go in the water? You can. Hmm. Didn't realize. Can we get you up there? Not easily, no. There's nothing particularly over there that I want to interact with, so... Okay. Well, that said then, Sheila... We're gonna get you... I guess I could just send you up the top. Just so that I can get you moving a little bit faster, but... Actually, no, we'll pop two lab over here. And midnight, you can go there. That makes sense to me. Go, go, go. There we are. You can remain in Overwatch, as can you. Affirmative, covering now. Oh, nice. Uh, moving a little bit closer. They're out in the open. What can we hear? Got seven turns to get into position and wipe out the device over there. Um, saturation fire. Fire a cone shaped barrage of bullets at every enemy in an area. In addition, the cover of those enemies can be damaged or destroyed. Uses a lot of ammunition, though. 
I could use a launch grenade, uh, gas grenade. Use a blaster bomb to open this up. Hell, I could just go for the blaster bomb right now and get it in there and smack that thing up. I think that would be a good move, but in a moment. Saturation fire will pretty much hit all of them. Okay, let's prime this to wipe them out. Right, I want you with kill zone. Right there. Let's see, you can Amax see them. You can also kill zone. Lockdown confirmed. Then we're going to open with this. Thank you. Yes, please. Every single one of them. Wow. Will that kill itself? I've always noticed that it loses a bit of its health when it clones. No, it's just moving. Well, now you're dead. Come on, Bri. Next shot. Very nice. That's how you expect. Is that it? Is no one else going to take a shot? Oh, you finished them all. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. That, that was great. That was everything I'd hoped and dreamed for. Right, midnight. Actually, who can stealth at this point? Very few people can even move at this point, so... Not you. <laughs> I'd have to go down and then back up. Really? That is so dumb. So dumb. However, you can at least get up there. So go ahead and then you can go into Overwatch She Lab. You can take On this spot over here. Shen, you can stay where you are. Overwatch. Overwatch. There we go. Right, our turn. Which means at this point, I would like Dark Avak to conceal. I was never here. That's right, you were not. Ah, the thing is, we have no idea what's going on over there. Dark Ava could just get all the way over here and let me know. Affirmative. And it's much less likely he's going to activate anything than standing around the corner there for some reason. Uh, at least that's what I think. Could be completely wrong with that. Now what do you see, Dark Ava? Nothing around that corner. Ooh, nice TV in there, though. Wow. Nice. All right, okay. At this point, we want to get Annalise a little bit closer. Brian, move up. Not a problem. And then reload, please. Let's do this. Indeed, let's. Right. Could just have you stood over there, but I'd really rather not put you in that position, to be perfectly honest. Just reload for now. Then advance oh, on yeah. this. Mm, you can't now. I guess we could just use the blaster bomb as best we can to... Oh, actually, we're in a position now where we can do it. See if we can't get it so that it smacks the device, but also... Hold on. There was a spot there just now. I know there was. I want to smack the device inside. Am I really not? Okay, then we're holding off on that because I don't want to waste that ability. She lab, let's move you up. You're be in an Overwatch. Got a lot of rockets and things like that. Can I just rocket the f side of this building away? Would that take out part of the building? No. Could I get the rocket all the way inside? Not quite. That is a shame. Could I get rid of the roof? Because if I could, it'd be worth doing. Try it. Bringing the pain. 
Now, has that given us sight on that for Briarstone is the question. Also, can the blaster bomb now get inside? Because it should be able to just go over the roof. No. Still playing funny buggers, eh? I believe we can't get the blast upon in there. Such a disappointment. Oh well. May as well move up. Midnight. You don't need sight in the same way the others do. But let's get you over here just in case. We can't see any aliens yet, but that doesn't mean that they're not all clustered around this area. Shen. I'd like you up here with Briarstone. There we go. I'm all over. That'll do. Okay. Not really done much at the moment, and the aliens don't seem to be doing much either. And that makes me very paranoid that we're about to be ambushed in a horrible, horrible way. Alright. Okay, Briar still has no sight. Midnight could move out and use his rocket launcher. I'd be alright with this. Not a problem. We'll have you there for a moment. Shirav could move up and get Maybe. sight in this direction. Any enemies? No. Alright. Shen, what can you hack? Ah, it's the tower. Uh, sure, let's have a look what it is. If there's anything good, I'll probably have Sheila do it because she's got the better hacking skill. Small alien alloy cache, large alien alloy cache. Um, we'll cancel on that one. And I may have Sheila do it. But now I want Shen to get kills rather than successful hacks. On the move. Thank you. Blast the bomb time. Let's go for there. Right, right, we've hit one of the aliens. Straight through and explode. Perfect. And that has opened up the side there. I approve. Dark Havoc is completely stealthed. If I can get Dark Ava close enough, he'll be able to give me sight on what's going on over there. But I don't want to be so close that they'll be able to get a flank on him and he can't be in overwatch for it. Hostile targets in sight. There we go. They haven't actually activated. That is so bizarre. I could drop a Void Rift in there. Can't quite get it inside, unfortunately. Okay, well then, go for the rocket instead. Won't even know what hit him. Oh, I think they will. It's hard to mistake a rocket. Target's eliminated. Thank you. How did you not activate when you were smacked by a blaster bomb? Shen, move up. Try and get you a kill. No, you still can't see the bloody thing. Oh, that is quite disappointing. Briar can obviously shoot it. Dark Ava can go for a shot, but I don't think you need it. 74% uh, chance you'd kill if you hit. Uh, yeah, sure, go for it. There we go, max damage. Very nice. You have engaged the dance protocol. Uh, oh well, Dark Hour can now approach a little bit closer and might be able to get squad sight on the Rolling. beacon. On the there we go. Now Briar can not see it. Well, that is just bloody annoying. 
Go over there, Brian. You might be able to see it from here. Yes, you can. Fantastic. Okay, take a shot. It can't avoid this, so you're going to take it out. Perfect. Menace one five, we've okay. confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Will do, but where are those alien hostiles? One must ask. On Overwatch. Okay, now we've got actually got a hunt around. That's not good. I dislike having to play these kinds of games. Position confirmed. Cat and Mouse is not a favorite of mine when it comes to XCOM. Because it usually results in my squads being hurt terribly. Back okay. back. Just make sure there's no one behind the house over here. Oh, he's having got a very good sight. Um, move around a little bit. The fact you're still concealed is a, a godsend right now, but... I think the edge of the map is this, so there's really no point in us going any further. Uh, you can just come up to the edge. Good copy. Moving on target. There you go. Thank you, Shen. Briar, you can just remain in Overwatch for now. Affirmative. Covering now. Eye in the sky, please. Spasanel. Shen. Midnight, however, can move forward. Sure thing. As can she lab. In fact, from here, she lab can reload. She's shot, so may as well refill. We've got three more enemies on the field. Come get some. All right. Uh, no, you can you can stay there. You can as well. Miss Carsonell, I'll move you in a moment. Dark Avac. Anything up here? Anything Position at all? Confirmed. My guess is that they're going to be behind the house. So, let's start moving in that direction. They're playing it bl very Maybe bloody sneaky, wherever they are. Oh, wait. Is it possible? There might be a lot... Oh, there's a lot more map on this side. They could be over here. They could be anywhere over there. Wow. I'm surprised they haven't responded to the fact that we've taken out part of the... Well, their relay, which was the objective. I almost want to fail the hack over there. Just to alert them that I'm here, but... You know what? Yeah, sure. Let's try that. On the move. Let's bring them to us if we can. So we're going to go for the high amount of alien alloys. Well, that's actually off map. That's why it looks so curious when this is going for it. There we go. And go. Nope, she loves too good. Thanks for the large alien ally cache, though. We're through. Okay. Okay, well, uh, Overwatch it is. Overwatch. They're moving out. Oh, here we go. Either that's civilians or it is enemies. I suspect enemies. Headed there now. So let's move people into position. Roger Over that. here, please, Dark Havoc. There we go. Ooh, a gatekeeper and two codexes. Uh... Okay. You just keep your eye on them. Eyes on the prize. Thank you. And we'll move the rest of the troops into position. Moving out. Brian, you go ahead and reload. Ready to engage. Then I would like you to grab on something. This will do. Throw on the hook. And you can go into pistol Moving overwatch. overwatch. Scanning. Okay. Heading out. Are you gonna be right there? I'm actually wondering about that one. You might not be. Affirmative. Covering now. He 
You might not like the flames. Got it, moving. Look at Shelab go. You have taken the most excessively physical route that you could. Well done. Ever vigilant, covering fire. Uh, let's continue moving in. On the move. Uh, there's nowhere good for you, but I can move you up here at least. Uh, actually, I prefer not to. What I would like is. He has a grenade. You do. I'm not going to put you next to a car. That is dumb. Patently so. I'll pop you over here. Affirmative. Now, what I would like to do is grenade that thing open. You've got a grenade. You can't reach that far, though. Uh, that's probably going to be the case for everyone, honestly. Could have saturation fire. But you can't see them to properly damage that area. Which is a problem. There's no guarantee Briarstone will be able to see them, even Absolutely. if we did blow open that wall. So I'm going to move Briarstone down into position, and then on the next turn, we'll be able to have him go kill zone. I'm on it. On Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Just on keep Overwatch. an eye on him. Covering now. Okay. Shanna, I would love it if you could get over there, but you cannot. Therefore, it shall be Lady Shelab who moves first. That's affirmative. Now, can you grenade this wall at this point? You can indeed. That may, in fact, give us sight on them. So, Briarstone, time for you to be in Area on lockdown. kill zone. I would also like... Uh, actually, you know, you can you can stay there. Dark Avak, however, I would like to be on the move yet again. Ready to shoot them over here if they move through this area. But that's actually a little bit more difficult. Uh, I want some heavy cover for him, honestly. That might not be too bad, but... Not too fond of these options. Not too fond. I could get over there, but Dark Abbot is very exposed then. I could go up there, but equally very exposed. Now, you know what? Ah, see, the problem is, is the Codex could easily see Dark Abbot from that position, so I'd rather not risk that one. And the cover over there is really poor, but let's go over here instead. Will attack through this direction. Dark Ava can go on the next turn. There we go. Right, Lady Shelab, want this wall removed. There we go. There we are. They have now spotted us. Briar, this is your moment to shine. Take some shots. One codex is going to split. We're going to have four codex to deal with in a moment. And the gatekeeper. That's right. I got something here. Really? I oh, know, actually, you killed one outright. Wow. Well done, bro. Scallywag, get away. I would like. You've got a 65 on him, an 81 on him. Who else can make that shot? Uh, you know what? Oh, you want to go for it? Uh, alternatively, I could go for Void Rift. I might do a chunk of damage. Four to five. I could go for Soul Fire or Null Lance instead. Could I hit both? I could. That's a lot of damage. Seven to twelve. Do it, there please. There is no escape. There is no escape, it's true. There we 
go. One down. Ten damage to the gatekeeper. That is very nice. Shen, need this one dead. Super badly. Could you move down here and get a flank and kill it? 100% chance. Yes. Seven to nine, you're going to kill. Yeah, very well done. Target down. Thank you. All right, Ms. Carsonell. I'd go for saturation fire, but there's no point. Let's go for this one. You've got a 65% chance to hit. You you could strip it of a lot of its health, or a mimic beacon would draw its fire. It's the only one there, so go for the mimic beacon. There you go. How can you resist that opportunity? You can't. That's the answer. It's impossible. Dear Lord, you do a lot of damage when you do that. But there you go. Now, Shen. You're the one that I want to get this kill. Let's go for a... Chain shot is minus 15. It's actually way too low. Go for it, just a regular shot. Just pull down the armor somewhat. There we go. Hollow targeting is engaged. That's fine. I want a grenade or two. Next up. If I got anyone who has any grenades, though, is a question. Don't think we do. Uh, I need a sneeze as well. Bloody aliens with their colds. My body is not immune to their various diseases. I've got another mimic beacon I can use. Which is actually very nice. I could just go for a shot. Um, that means we could just pull down its armor first. Go for it. Do a bit of damage. We'll use the Mimic Beacon in the end, and then I'll bring him right over to you so you can get the kill. Go for a free pistol shot. You should have that as part of your... Do not move, gain a bonus to aim. Hollow targeting. Quick draw. Firing a pistol with your first action no longer ends your turn. Fire pistol. Go. Went off the armor. Lightning hands. And then fire pistol again. Oh, that's just so glorious. You can do so much damage just with a pistol. I really need to retrain your kill zone, I think. Deflection. So that you have the ability to just shoot at everything nearby. That would just be so glorious. Um, right, you're waiting on the Mimic Beacon use. If you get a critical, though, you'll kill it. Which is not what I want. I'm hoping that you won't kill this thing. If you don't, then Shen can finish it next turn. There we go. Need to get some levels on Shen. Hit the armor. It's fine, it's fine. Could you please bring it right over to Shen? Right there. In front of him, please. Now, this is the, the, the part that I'm worried about because it's quite possible that it's going to be like, no, 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 I, I want to shoot Lady Sheila instead. <laughs> uh, if that happens, sad, sad times for me. See, so what are you going to do? Thankfully, you are, in fact, immune. Oh, no! Why did I make you go into Overwatch? Oh... The one time I'm actually glad that you missed. Still up. I was about to say, Dark Ave just doesn't listen to rules. Like, no, no, I'm going to kill it. Damn it. But no, no, he missed. He tried. He tried. Scallywag. But he missed. Right, Shen, this is your one and only chance. If you fail this, well, you know, I did everything I could for you. There you go. Well done, Shen. Excellent work. Are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Okay, Operation Twisted Stroke. 
was flawless. Not bad. Once again, no mob, no one gets hurt. I mean, I don't want to draw conclusions with, with flawed data, but... Right, dealt most damage was Miss Carsonell, made the most attacks was Brystone, most under attack was the Mimic Beacon, and moved the furthest was Dark Avac. That was not bad. No new records though. Come on guys. You didn't have to travel that far. The Avenger brought you most of the way, you scoundrels. My lord. That was good. I don't think anyone got a promotion though, which is a shame. Really would have liked Shen to get a promotion. We'll see. No, Shen did get a promotion. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right, Shen, you are going to be our new medic. Enjoy. All right. Well, that was not bad at all. We got two Illyrium cores, three Codex brains, a Stun Lance corpse, shield, two Shield Bearer corpses, and an Officer corpse. A mech wreck, a gatekeeper shell, and 20 alien alloys. Now, the gatekeeper shell will you mean that we can make it the advanced cyan. Thank you. I approve of your approval. Right, well, uh, in the next episode, we are going to be continuing with a number of things. We've got a resistance contact. Oh, wow, really? That's awesome. Does that just flat out give us that note? Because that would be a brilliant one. The resistance has detected activity of interest here. The Avenger scans the area. XCOM can investigate these reports. Uh, I'm not sure, but you know, we'll, we'll check it out. But that's going to be it for me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and will in fact be joining me for the next. As ever, I welcome any feedback you may have to offer and a like on the video lets me know you'd like to see more XCOM in the future. But until then, do take care of yourselves.